Genesis chapter 34, begin at verse 1. Genesis chapter 34, verse 1. I said this morning it was really interesting to see how God used Brother Jay. And yeah, it was encouraging to me. I needed yeah. that. And what you'll find real quickly is that uh, when you're discouraged in two, three months from now, that will happen. Yeah, that what you need to do is look back and say, I remember when Jay preached. You know what? And this is when you start to think maybe God's not real and He doesn't care and doesn't love you. You say, but I remember that time up there. Come on. I remember being at that lake. Amen. Amen. I remember God showing up. See, these times, these moments, see, uh, I'll be honest with you, I see that happen once in a while. Not all times of evangelism. Right, right. And, but I can tell you, and I can go back to those times where God did something for me, and God just gave me a little bit of a glimpse of heaven, yeah. and it encouraged Amen. me. So, Amen. you guys need to realize that what you saw today should never be taken for granted. Yes, sir. Okay? And He just showed up because... He's merciful. Yeah. And, God. and remember that when He answers prayer, He doesn't even answer it for your sake. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even save you for your sake. He saved you for Jesus' sake. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's very right. humbling. So this is when you yeah. think, well, I arrived, I attained, I'm all that. No. Not, not really. Yeah. No. But uh, So anyway, I'm reading this passage of Scripture, and I uh, want to preach this to you. I was saying about what uh, Pastor Jay was preaching about separation from the world and things like that. Mm -hmm. I get really upset when you guys start preaching what I got because I only got seven messages in the man post, amen? All right, Genesis chapter 34. All right, verse 1. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the highlight, friends of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. And his soul came unto Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the damsel and spake kindly unto the damsel. And Shechem spake unto his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. Now his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved. They were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Israel, lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be dying. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Now, Lord, I know these people are tired. I'm tired, but I pray, God, that... Uh, we want to be tired of you and your word. Yeah, yeah, pray, God, you yeah, 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 God, we have liberty. Mm -hmm. God, you want me to preach this, Lord, for whatever reason, I pray that we'd be taking heed to. Yes, God, I know this morning, God, that as Brother Jay preached about backslider, uh, it's not a salvation message, Lord. I, I think your time has passed for whoever uh, was resisting it, but I know they can still get saved. Yes, uh, but Lord, I think, Lord, now you're just going to deal mainly with Christians. Uh, Lord, which shows me that it's very sad people harden their heart against the gospel. Yeah. But Lord, nevertheless, help us to get a blessing from the word of God. Yeah. Use me to be a help. It's my desire. Yes, I love these people, and I pray, God, Amen. you help the love of God show through my heart, Lord, as I speak the truth in love. Amen. Like Brother uh, Jay, uh, the other Jay said earlier, Lord, uh, you guys speak the truth in love. Help me to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I said this to my children uh, in the past, and so have other parents have, and, and stay where I can see you. So the title of this message is Stay Where I Can See You. And I want to know where my children are at at all times. He's Precious little Korean girls we had going out with us today, and you know I'm always keeping an eye out for kids because I got kids myself. So, and I'm looking out, and and as for my kids, I want to know who my children are, are friends with. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And I have to keep yes. my eye on my kids for a reason. It's not a controlling act. Some people think my mom and dad is controlling. Oh. It's not really like that. We're really concerned for your safety. We're yeah. really concerned yes. uh, for your well-being. Right. Now I believe that the scripture here in Genesis chapter 34, this whole chapter, uh, belongs today to our youth. And unfortunately, this is the most misinterpreted passage. I say mistranslated. It's a misinterpreted passage of Scripture. And I've heard people say that Shechem forced her and raped her. It's not true. When he means force, he means force. And when he says lay, he means lay. Difference, okay? So you say, what are you getting at? He saw her, he took her, he lay with her and defiled her. Nowhere does it say she was raped. The girl had lost her purity. And you know what? She never got it back. And we don't know how, uh, how old this man was. And I'll get into later on showing you how old she was, which will really surprise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we don't know if Shechem up to this point had already lost his purity. But we do know this. This man, I believe he was older. Because you've got to watch out for older boys, girls. Uh -huh. yeah. Right? Uh -huh. But he spake kindly on her. You know, hey, baby, you know. <laughs> right, right? you got to watch out. So, see, you know, <laughs> I know how men are because I'm a man. You know? <laughs> I, look, I already know some of you guys are players. Oh! oh. I already, you stink like a player. Amen? Hey, I didn't say a basketball player, I say like a, like a point player. Yeah. Really, you guys, some of you guys are looking at things and doing things you don't know how to do. I, I know more. 
Because I was once a teenager, and I know what people do. Yeah, that's right. Right. The difference is, you know better, I wasn't raised that way. No. Oh, I think I say that I was 20. What's your excuse? So we do know that what Shechem did was he was impure in heart to do such a thing. And we also know that it was not Shechem's entire fault. She was also to blame. Mm-hmm. Ever the old saying that takes two to tango? Yeah. Yeah. Well, sure does. The reality of it is they all they both messed up. And you'll see in this passage of scripture why it's important for you to never be alone with the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amen. Oh, I have a preacher. You can trust me. No, I cannot. Uh, yeah. oh, right. If you're a male, you like women. Yeah. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh-huh. 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 Right? Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? So ain't right. If you're, a, if you're a woman and you don't talk like this, right? Then, you know, butch, right? If you're a woman, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. You're interested in men, right? Yeah. That's a fact. I mean, God made you that way. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. It's when you're interested in multiple... You can't control yourself or something wrong. Yeah. Yes. Right. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't believe we're talking about this. Oh, don't worry. You watch worse on TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. You cannot trust your flesh. No. I was looking at chapter 3, and latter part of us is verse 3, and by way of introduction, have no confidence in the flesh. And any one of you are capable of messing up just like Dinah and Shaq. Right. And you may think, preacher, it will never happen to me. Mm. Well, what makes you so sure? Are you really that deceived, like the brother was saying this morning, are you really that deceived to think that you are above temptation? No. That you are stronger? Samson gave in the sexual temptation. Right. right. Strongest man, right? David, man of God's own heart, gave in the sexual temptation. And like the brother said earlier, Solomon, the wisest man, gave in to sexual temptation. Right? Yeah. Huh. Now, I'm not going to be cruise. You don't worry about that. Those little kids here, but if they weren't, I'd I get it in your face. Yeah. Because you need to learn some things, yeah. hear some things. Galatians 6 3 says, and he, he quoted it earlier, for if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. God warns you of being cocky. Right. Uh-huh. God warns you of being arrogant. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 16 18 says that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12 says, Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. No one is capable, no one is above the capability of falling. Right. Brother Jay said it earlier. He, Preaching half my mess and being mad. First Corinthians <laughs> chapter 10, verse 12, wherefore that him that thinketh he standeth, take heed lest he fall. Yeah, exactly. So, what can we learn from this passage of scripture, this story that took place thousands of years ago? What can we learn? Are there some important things in there? I just want to preach to you again, real quickly. Stay where I can see you. Number one, look at verse one. Stay where I can see you. Number one, first thing I want to say about this terrible situation. In verse one, and Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob, went out to see. Notice that word see, got her line or circle it or write it down. The doors of the land. Number one, she just went to see. Mm-hmm. Not like to the sea, to see, you see, you see, you know. She went to see. Yeah. She's out there and her eyes are causing her to wander from the Lord. Yeah. And there's a song that we sing, prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. And any of you can wander from the Lord. Yes. Yeah. So right. Isaiah chapter 53, uh, verse 6 says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to, as like the brother said, his own way. Back right heart should be filled with his own way, own way right? So you need to be careful what you let your eyes feast on. She, she was a, a bit too curious. And I'm not saying that all curiosity is wrong, but there's some things that you just need to be not curious about and be simple about some things that are going on around you. I mean, it's good to not know about something. Sometimes ignorance really is yes, place. Yes, uh, in Romans chapter 16, it says in verse 19, the latter part, but yet, I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Yeah. It never says anywhere in chapter 34 that she ever asked her father for permission to go. Yeah. Mm. That's true. She went, it says. Look, she went. She went. She went. She just went out to see. And that's what happened. To me, she wanted to do her own thing. Yeah. And you know what it shows me? She didn't care what her parents thought. Yeah. And you're going to always get yourself into trouble when you have that kind of attitude. And when you leave out from under the protection of your parents, you are headed for trouble. Oh, yeah. See, oh, your yeah. parents were one time a teenager. Right. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? Your parents are your guardians for a reason. Yeah. And your parents know what is out there for you to see. Oh, yeah. And what is out there for you to see is not always what it seems Reach. to yeah. be. Yeah. Reach. Remember Lot? Look into the fields. That's right. Oh, it's well watered. It's a, and you know, he walked away from God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but there's stuff out there. See, she was young. 
And I'm not knocking you. Let me just say right now. I know more than I did as a teenager. Right? And I'm going to know more about the grace of God, Lord willing, when I'm past your kid's age. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you getting at? So you should be learning as the years go on. Right? Yeah. Right? When you're young, you don't want to listen to anybody. And when you're old, nobody listens to you. Yeah. Yes. Right? So, so what I see here is that she was young and, as we say, dumb. She was clueless to the things that were going out there in the real world. Uh, I'm not going to be graphic with you guys because you're not my kids. But my kids, I am pretty straightforward. And my kid says, well, what is that? And I say, this is what it is. And my wife goes, Brian, that's kind of, you know, about, <laughs> oh, okay. you know, it's my kids. I have liberty to say what I got to say. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you really don't know what's out there. You, you, you yeah. have no idea. I, I've been to 14 different countries. I lived in Europe at the age of 18 years old. Oh, over four years. I lived in Europe. I've been to the underground, the rave, the pot, Amsterdam, wow. bombs. I, I've been there. Beer bomb. I, been there, okay? I'm not bragging about it. About, I, I know what's out there, and I can tell you it's not worth it. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. She didn't see any real danger. And we know what's out there for you. And we know that there's evil in this world for you to get into. Yep. And we know that, oh, well, preacher, uh, dad, mom, I, I'm not really going out there to do anything wrong. It's not that. That's not the case. The case is evil is looking for you. There are perverts out there. That's there are out. predators yep. out there right. that are going to follow you. Amen. You better watch. Yeah. You better watch. Your parents are strict because they really do have your best interests at heart. And as a youth, you need to trust your parents' judgments. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, parents really do know better. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do know better than you. Yeah. And what I'm saying to you tonight is when your parents tell you that they don't have peace about you hanging with somebody, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a reason. Yeah. 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 Right. 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 I remember my mom saying, I don't, I don't like that, that, that guy. He, he's sneaky. There's something about him. <laughs> she was right. She would say, I don't like that girl. And I see, my mom didn't teach me to be pure. So I had girlfriends. She was, I don't like that girl or something. And she was right. My mom had a, like, a, she sensed things, you know. Mother's intuition, women's yeah. intuition, they just know, like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're upset with me. Mom. Uh -huh. You think your mom and dad gave me the message, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And these girls were not the girls that you want to associate with. Uh, like I said, I wasn't trying to embarrass Katie. Her face turned as red as Brother Jay's shirt. You know. <laughs> but you know what? She had to. And I'm not being, I'm not being bad, bad mouth in you know? But she had not separated from her and started spending time with Sarah. Mm. She would have went the same way as you know. Are you with me? Yes, You're dying on me tonight. Are you listening? Oh, no. oh, 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 oh what, what happened? Is it, is it true? Am I right? Yeah. She wanted to go out and just daughters of the land. Yes, the daughters right. of the world. The daughters who didn't walk with God or know God or love God. Yeah. She wanted to be cool. Yeah. That's Ooh. right. Hey, you know what? You want to get a belly ring? We'll get a belly ring together. And that's great. Girls, listen. Guys are lone wolves. A guy is perfectly content with sitting with a 40 ounce. Cold 45 beer and drink it to buy yourself. I'm like, you don't care. But a woman, watch. A woman goes, you go to the bathroom with me? Right? Yeah. 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 Guy, you have to, pow! You have to, you have to ask me, I have to ask you, pow. You say, you got a feminine side? I put my arm around my wife, that's my feminine side. <laughs> but women are different, right? Yeah. That's okay, I'm not knocking them. <laughs> but they were girls of the world. And a, another girl will bring a girl fashion, and a boy will bring a boy down. Mm -hmm. As a youth, you need to watch the persons you associate with. Brother quoted earlier, Proverbs chapter 13, uh, verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but the companion of fools shall be destroyed. You remember, your parents really do love you. Now, my question is, now, I don't know about you. I don't know how many chapters a day you read or pages a day you read. I don't tell people it's my business, but I read real slow. Not with on my thumb. But I read real <laughs> slow, right? And I like to picture myself in the story. Oh, yeah. It becomes more rich. Yeah. So I picture it, I picture the scene, the girl, the age. Now I'm going to say the age later on. Yeah. You won't believe how old she was. Yeah. Really, really. It's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And as you're going through it, I'm, I'm picturing this thing, I'm thinking about it. My question arose is this How did she get out of the house? Mm. That's my question. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't know. But there's a few ideas I had. Maybe she wanted to get in her way. 
And as a youth, you'll do whatever you got to do to get your way. That's right. And you may, you may even manipulate or even lie to your parents. Yeah, that's right. Dying, I could have lied. Hey, Mom, I was going out with the girls from the youth group and all that. You know what I mean? We're just going to go out there. We're just going to go out to Barnes and Noble. We're going to go to the mall and all that. We're not going to go anywhere else, Mom. Or Dad. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to tell your parents that you're hanging with somebody that you're not hanging with. Because it's very dangerous. That's yeah. right. One time I'll never forget there was a Christian parent telling me a story of they didn't have peace about their son. It's a true story of not going out with a certain group of men. That day they got in a horrible wreck and the place that he worked where he would have been sitting, he would have been killed. And his parents said, I just don't have peace about it. I go, we want to go to the mall. These are people. I, said, I just don't have peace about it. And the mother said, I don't have peace about it. Father, I don't have peace about it. Mm. You guys don't take this stuff serious. You guys, oh, you guys yeah. want to be entertained or something. I'm oh, giving you oh, yeah. it's reality. Yeah. Yeah. Truth. Right. I'm, I'm not Man. lying to you. I'm, I'm telling you factual stuff. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. February 23rd, 2012. Mm. This year, right? Not like yeah. from the 1800s. I'm giving you something, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the Yahoo News, Associated Press, Eagle Point, Oregon. 14-year-old Ashley Long told her parents she was going to a slumber party. Mm. Where she's going to watch a bunch of videos and eat popcorn two blocks away. But she lied. And what she did is she piled into a car with a bunch of her friends and all that and rode to a condo in Medford, Oregon, where her big sister with one of her friends was throwing a party with lots of beer and lots of marijuana. And after taking drinks on the drive and drinking more in the condo, it came turn for um, this girl, Ashley, to take her turn on a tank of helium that everyone else was inhaling to make their voices sound funny. And that helium tank got going around. And what happened is it got to this girl... And she didn't want to do it, and it was peer pressure, and they put a mask up to her face. No. Not only just something, but a mask to breathe it in. So it would be okay, it's not going to hurt you, just make you laugh and talk funny. Instead, she passed out and later died at a hospital, Ooh. the result of an obstruction of the blood vessel by inhaling helium from a pressurized tank. Come on. So, what are you getting at? That story should scare you. Yeah. yeah. Amen. More right. than that, the Bible story should scare you as well. Amen. Yeah. Don't have to never deceive your parents about where you're growing. All she wanted to do was what? Have a little fun. There was a, yeah. a song in the 1980s by Cindy Lauper saying, "Girls just want to have fun." Yeah. That's all they want to do. They just want to go out and have a good time. You know, ain't other girls do it. Yeah. Uh huh. Just time. Right, 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 right. Right, right. <laughs> They just want to have fun, right? I'm going to go out. Girls, I'm going to have a good time. There's no harm in just going out with a few friends, is there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out that her delightful time is soon to turn out to be a disaster. Yeah. 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 All right, let's look at verse 2. I'm not going to be very long tonight. Look at verse 2. Come on, preacher. And notice what it says. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the highlight, prayed to the country, saw her. That's a guy of royalty, right? Mm -hmm. yes. The guy who knows better, right? A yeah. prince, right? Saw her. He took her and lay with her in the fire. Number two, she was seized by a sensual man. She was seized by a sensual man. She was caught off guard. It never says he forced her. Now, she was young when this tragic thing happened. So how do you know? Well, this, you can write it down, check it out later. In chapter 30, she was born. And this happened in chapter 34. You know what the time frame was? 14 years of age. Did you know that teens are having... I'm going to be careful what I say. <laughs> Intimate relations because of kids, right? Yeah. Before the age of 14. Right. When I was growing up, there was a 12-year-old black girl that met was pregnant. Mm -hmm. They are doing it. Okay, let's put it that way. Nine years old. 12-year-olds yeah. with seven-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to say, I can't believe that stuff. And, and some of the kids are getting busted Rolling up marijuana with their homeschool, their, not homeschool, <laughs> oh, not oh, even. Oh, oh, homework, oh, their oh, homework, I hope you're not even. Homework, right? Seven year old kids getting busted. Four, four of them. Wow. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, you can believe that. Oh, yeah. So, my question that arises again, I think, about, why did she lose her purity? There's a few reasons, I think. Could it be she felt pressure from her friends? Let me tell you something right now. Um, I love you, youth, and I say you're youth, I mean, 20 and under is youth, amen? Yeah. yeah. So you didn't go to battle until you were 20, not 18. <laughs> that's Bible, right? Yeah. In, in numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's and uh, could it be that maybe some of her friends were like trying to push her to it and get her to do it? 
Yeah. Like some of you like like to pass notes probably or uh -huh. or text or take pictures or put on your yep. Facebook. And I don't oh, have yeah. Facebook, thank God, amen. Yeah. I don't want yeah. you. You know what you need to do? Get your face in this book. Yeah. 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 Woo. 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 That's good. Yeah. So, so here, here's yeah. what happens. She may feel pressured and then you got this guy, you put him up there on your Facebook page and go, What do you think of him? And before you know it, you're you're, you're pressuring that person to do something. Yeah. 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 That's right. You know why you're quiet? Like the brother said earlier. Could it be she just wanted to fit in? Mm -hmm. Well, everyone else is doing it. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the heathen. That's the problem. Well, they were heathen, right? Yeah. Right. Heathen. Yeah. You ever read what heathen did in Leviticus 18 and Leviticus 7 20? Yeah. I won't even tell you. You can read it later on yeah. when you're little kids, right? Uh. All right. And then could it have been that she was maybe attracted to him because he was hot? Uh -huh. Oh, look at him. Look at his muscles. Look. Yeah. Wow, he's so ripped, man. Wow, look at his pecs. Look at his <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Look at his wheel. Right? Yeah. Could it be that she was attracted? I mean, she's just, whoop, Justin Dweeber. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dweeber. I mean, oh. guy like Shaggy, you know, from Scooby Doo with a hair down his shirt. I just want to cut his hair so bad. I just want to make him look like a man. This is man. Yeah. I don't gel this or mousse this. I trained my hair. <laughs> I'm a man. I told my hair, I said, lay down and lays down. <laughs> I'm just gonna play with you guys, amen. Good, good. Oh, because right, you don't have to brush your hair, it's too short. I'm like, anyway, I'm a man, amen. 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 I'm not gonna put dry locks or nothing like that on. Could it be that he told her he loved her? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh baby. Man, I don't know where you've been all my life. <laughs> man, you are hot. Yeah. <laughs> right? right? And you're thinking, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Player before I got saved, yeah. I know. And hey, you guys, there you are, welcome. Stupid. Listen, I'm not as smart as the tribe and Pastor Kim. I'm serious. These guys got like a lot of knowledge. He's like, he's like saying all this. Stuff. I'm like, man, you I'm dumb. I thought I'd first tell you I'm dumb. But one thing I am smart about, and that's the streets. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the streets of Philadelphia. I grew up on welfare. I grew up on the yellow cheese that glows in the dark. <laughs> and I grew up on that powder milk you could use to plaster strawberry gorilla glue and a whole thing. <laughs> and uh, my dad left my mom when she was six months pregnant. I don't even know what it looks like. I grew up in an alcoholic background. That broomsticks broke over my back. Man, I was a I, mean, I, I know. I've been there. I watch people. I watch people. I watch people when I preach. I watch people when I talk to them. I watch the body language. If you're standing like this when I'm talking to you, you know what that means? I'm getting ready to leave. Mm -hmm. If I'm talking to you right there, so you know what you're saying? Get it over with. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I watch body language. See, I grew, I grew up different. See, I had to know how you were going to stand because I had to be ready for a sucker punch, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I'm telling you right now, I know some of you, you're too flirtatious with the girls. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'll tell you right now, I may say something to you this week. Mm. Mm. And I'm not going to go to Pastor Kim or anybody ask for permission. I'm going to go right to you because yeah, I know you guys for many years. And I'm going to say, you're getting too friendly with that girl and you ain't got no business hugging on her and rubbing her back and talking to her and hanging out with her. Mm. Amen, preacher. Amen. 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 That's right. Because it was Amen. my daughter, I'm going to pop you in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you say, hey, a preacher ought not to be a brawler. That's for a bishop. I'm an evangelist. Ah! I'll smack you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. You know, Amen. I'm just telling you, I, I had to say this because it's like you guys are way too friendly with one another, the opposite sex. Amen? Yeah. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Whatever the reason may be, I'll let you get over that in the year and you, you'll yeah. love me again when I come back. <laughs> Whatever the reason may be, she lost her purity and she got snared. 
She was caught by a man. And you know what? I believe she regretted it. And you know what she never does? She never winds up with a man. Oh. The thing yeah. you got to do, is, let me tell you something, young ladies. The thing you got to do to keep a man and get a man, you got to keep it going. You catch him with your body, you got to use it the rest of your life. Yeah. And guess what happens when you get a little fat? You get fat, every one of you. I don't care how skinny you Koreans are. <laughs> you're going to get a fat break. Guess what? Well, you're going to be like, <laughs> like job of the hut, man. <laughs> right? And you know what's going to happen? He's going to look at you and he's going to go, you ain't, and he's going to get someone 15 years younger. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You think I'm lying? What? 40 some year old men that get a midlife crisis, what do they do? Get some girl yeah, 25 years old. I ain't lying to you. That's right. Most marriages don't end this in seven years. They end in 20 some years when the kids move out. Mm. I know what I'm talking. I'm telling you, you start off wrong, you're going to end up wrong. Amen. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Amen. And it's too late now. See, you can get some things back as the brother was preaching. Thank God you can go home. Hey, listen, that prophet son went home, right? That prophet son was forgiven, right? Amen. Praise the Lord, right? Amen. But you know what he never got back? He never got his inheritance back. That's right. Oh, I can ask God to forgive me for having looked at pornography and I'm addicted to it and having done fornication and done other things that you have no idea about. But guess what? You can't get your purity back. That's right. right. That's, the key. That's the key. Things I did as a teenager, I will never let some of you know. I will never let you know. But there now, I regret having done it and it never was edifying for my Christian life later on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Right. As a young person, you need to stay pure. Yes. God warns you to watch out for the pitfalls of sexual immorality. Say something out. Colleges, whorehouses. Oh, yeah. 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 Whorehouses. Yeah. 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 Take parties, drinking, yeah. 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 swapping. Yeah. All that stuff. That stuff goes on. Now, in the military, that stuff went on. Oh, you got an 18 year old girl and a 40 year old man in one barracks place. The girl next door, he's there from his wife for six months. I saw the stuff, man. Whoa. You know what colleges are, man? I'm telling you, if you don't serve God now, when you go to college, Amen. man, yeah. you're going to be a whore hopper and a whoremonger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, be like, Give yourself about two, three years into it. Mm, you'll yeah. see, you'll be doing things there. Right. Yeah. Like, right. right. Token and everything like that. Ooh, you will. Right. I'm telling you, I don't believe that. Um, yeah, flee also youthful lusts. Yeah. 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 I say youthful, let's say old age. <laughs> we're old, we're like, <laughs> hardly walk, let alone taste somebody, amen? Yeah. It's when you're young. Yeah. Yeah. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace within the corner of the Lord out of a pure heart. Yeah. You're not going to flee youthful, youthful lusts unless you've got a pure heart. Second yeah. yeah. Timothy 2.22 tells us that. First Thessalonians chapter 4. Verse 3 says, For this is the will of God. What is the will of God for my life? Even your sanctification. What is that to keep me separate? That you should abstain from fornication. Right. Right. That every one of you should not possess his vessel, that's your body. Your sanctification, separation, and honor. It is a disgraceful thing. You run around like a dog in heat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 6.18, flee fornication. Huh. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committed fornication sin against his own body. You stay away from people. Let me say something right now. Young girls, listen to me. I don't care if you're saved or not saved. You got a boy come up to you, rub it on your back, and this group here, and touch it on you, you push his hands off you. You understand that? Amen. Only one you got Amen. touching you is your dad or your brother putting his arm around you. Amen. 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 Right? right? Amen. Well, I don't like that. Talk, you talk, keep your hands off me. Yes, it's sir. Amount to touch a woman. You believe that? Amen. 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 Right. So I don't like how you're preaching. That's okay. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not. Preach. I'm not yeah. I love you guys. Whether I come back or not, I'm not gonna hold the truth back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so love me. Right. So love me. Amen. Right. So, you better watch out. The girl comes up, comes around. You know what I mean? Starts flirting. You don't want to wait like that. Listen. She flirts with you. She'll flirt with your friend. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Ask anybody who's in their thirties here. What the women are like there out in the world? Oh, they look good. You want to be with them, right? That's all they're good for. They ain't going to be good for raising your kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's more to life than the bedroom. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. She can't cook, she can't clean, she's going to take care of your kids, she's going to leave with the kids and go out with your friend. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Preach. Oh, yeah. Preach. Oh, I've been around. I've seen yeah. some things, amen. you got to stay away from impure people, even if they're in a Christian homeschooling group. Mm. That's why oh, right. right. some of the worst oh. devils are people that are homeschooled. Oh, oh, yeah. Amen. God love the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, where are we going there? Oh, yeah, amen. Lord. My wife told me the things that those girls would do. She says, she said it was better. 
she eventually left Christian school and went to public school because I knew where they stood. Wow. Mm. At least she, she said, when I was there, they dressed one way at, at, at school and, and had dirty, nasty, filthy, immodest clothes in her backpack and changed with her pants. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Don't allow yourself a chance to fall into immorality. Yeah. Amen. First Timothy chapter 5, he says to Timothy, in verse 22, keep thyself pure. Amen. All right, verse 7, I'm done. And the son of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved. They, they were, the brothers heard it, man. And they were very raw, very angry. Hurt, angry. Hey, you got a sister here? And somebody touching on her? Why don't you stop it? Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong. You know, we're all loving on one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't hug on Mrs. Stride. Amen? I ain't ever hugging on her. I want to be rude. I ain't hugging on Sarah. I ain't hugging on none of you girl, Helen. I ain't doing that. I'll shake your hand. That's it. Might be rude, but I know preachers that do that. Youth passion. <laughs> really? I'm serious. I mean, I'm going like, who Oh, man. I'm like, man, look. I don't want nobody touching my wife. Yeah, that's right. You say, why? I'm Italian. <laughs> I know what to do. Amen. It's in my blood. <laughs> Amen. I am to be her Romeo, not you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but you know what you find out? He's grieved and they're wroth. They're very angry because they're wroth. Shame, folly, foolishness. Number three, her family was shamed. Her family was shamed. Not only will you feel shame about losing your purity, but also your family. And you're also your family. Your family's going to feel a lot of shame. There's a price to losing your purity. You'll regret losing your purity after you've done it. You know what you're going to do? I'm, I'm not going to tell you a whole bunch of stuff, but I, I messed up when I was a teenager. Let's put it that way. And I remember, and I'm not being crude. I'm, I'm just pouring out my heart to you guys, saying in love. Okay, amen? amen. I'm going to say how old I was, what happened. But I remember, and I went, that's it? I'm not trying to be crude. Okay, I said, that's yeah. it? This is... This is what everybody made a big deal about. Like, yeah. um, you know, this, this, you know, a few minutes of pleasure. And yeah, yeah. I, I can't ever, you know, I, mean, really, I was lost, by the way. I was lost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what's the big deal? Yeah. I'm just telling you. Yeah. I, I just felt degraded. I felt, I felt defiled. Right. I, I just, I, there was something to change. Oh. I mean, I could tell you right now. Amen. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't look at people the right way. I couldn't act right. Man, it just, it just turned. See, here's the problem. You, you don't understand. When you start petting and pawing, it's like flipping that light switch on and you can't get it off. Even though those fans go and you start slowing, it, it doesn't turn. You turn on something, you cannot stop. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's very true. I'm telling you, yep. I love you guys. I really do. Right. And you'll become heartbroken or you'll be bitter. And you yep. may even become angry. You may even feel like the young person did in Proverbs 5. I preached to you about it this week, remember? Mm-hmm. You lost this purity. Do you remember that? And thou born at the last, remember that? I don't really care. Right? Yeah. When thy flesh and thy body are consumed, and say how I, I hated instruction, and my heart despised the fruit, and have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me in Proverbs 5, verse 11 through 13. You may get pregnant. Even though you may just do it one time. Yeah, that is, yeah. It does. It really does. Yeah. You know? Did you know you may even get a venereal disease? Mm-hmm. There are, okay. I'm not going to be graphic. Okay, trust me. <laughs> I worked in the emergency room. Yeah. Okay. I worked. I this 24-hour health clinic. I had a lot of experience with a lot of things: uh, blood draw, hematocrit levels, urine samples. Um, I did uh, um, uh, help with X-rays, stuff like that. And one of the, <laughs> it was nasty. And one of the things they gave me the responsibility of doing was STD workups. Mm-hmm. Now it was for men only, you know. Oh. Yeah, a, a woman sort of do the, the ladies, but the men. And I'm telling you right now, man. There's some there's some things. The gift that herpes is like the gift that keeps on giving. And there's some warts that you'll never get rid of. And there's some things that I'm not even going to be graphic about. I'm just going to tell you right now. There's some stuff that you may never get rid of. And there's some diseases you can get that'll make you not fertile, like infertile. The rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And there's some venereal diseases you can get that will make your child blind called syphilis. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Al Capone died because of syphilis. Mm-hmm. He went mad. According to the Gutmaker Institute, the following statistics for young people is February 2012, it's only two years old. As of now, the U.S. has the highest teen pregnancy in the world. 
A sexually active teen does not does not use a contraceptive as 90% chance of becoming pregnant within a year. 90% chance within one year. Each year, almost three quarters of a million, 750,000 women, ages 15 and 19, become pregnant. Two thirds of all teen pregnancies occur between 18 and 19 years old. Wow. Young people, now listen to this. I'm not. This is not a lie. It's true. Yeah. Okay. Young people, age 13 to 24, college, mm-hmm. high school, right? Mm-hmm. Made up about 17 percent. Now this is this is this is ones that were found. This, this is much higher. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of all people diagnosed with HIV, AIDS in the United States in 2008. Wow. That means one out of five people, if you choose to mess around, yeah. you have a risk. One out of five. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. And it increases with partners. So when I, I'm not trying to be crude, I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you, as a, as a, I'm a father. <laughs> okay, I have three kids, okay? I'm telling my son a lot more at 11 than I do with the other one's six, you know what I mean? But what, what I'm saying to you is, that is reported cases. So what could it be? Could it be 25%? Now, the American Social Health Association, called ASHA, reports that half of all, half, listen to me, half of all new HIV infections occur in teenagers. Teenagers. Okay. According to the Associated Press, March 11, 2008, on the MSNBC website, the following was found. In a first study of its kind, researchers at the Federal Center, at the FTC, Federal Disease Control Center, and prevention found at least one in four, one in four, that's four years ago, one in four teenage girls has a sexually transmitted disease. One in four. All right, so you want to play around? You want to, you want to have some problems later on? Cat. With urination no. and, Cat. and fertility. And you say, it's not, fun. it, it's not funny. Yeah, I remember talking to a guy, I'll never forget, and it was in the Army, and he was saved and born again, he said, and uh, he was messing around with his wife. Messed up. He told me he messed up. He said, look, he said, I know you'll do an STD workup, and I know you won't tell anybody. He goes, but I got warts, and he goes, I can't get rid of it. My wife and I just got married less than a year ago. We're separated because she's in one part of the, the country, um, you know, serving in the military, and I am because how am I going to explain it? And I thought, buddy, six months ago, I asked you to come to church with me. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't do it. You can't get rid of it. You cannot get rid of certain things. Yeah, that's, right. That's, right. that's right. God will forgive you. He will. Yeah. If you lose your purity, but it's still a shameful thing to do before marriage. Yeah, that's you, know? right. you ask anybody, and I'm not saying let's go around in the room and get tested. That's, 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 that's <laughs> one fruit has you done those things where you're now ashamed for the end of those things is death, right? Yeah. But you go around and ask anybody, hey, you lost your purity? All right, um, so was it worth it? Uh, mm. I mean, has it helped you now? I mean, has it made your thoughts more cleaner? Has yeah, it made come your on. Bible reading more oh, come on. Has it made your prayer life more powerful? Preach! And, and every one of them will tell you, I wish I would have waited until I got married. Not only to shame your parents, but it also displeases God. Yeah. God will God will judge you for premarital sex. That's called fornication. Mm-hmm. Hebrews chapter thirteen verse four. I'm almost done. It says marriage is honorable and all, and the bed on the file. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. I see some of you, you. You ain't afraid of hell, right? But I'll tell you something. You need to be afraid of not only hell, but you need to be afraid of venereal disease. Come on. Yeah. That's tough serious, man. Yes. I'm you. Right. And I mean, oh. before you think of losing your purity, as a brother mentioned, it was right on. Count the cost. Yeah. yeah. Count right. the cost. So we pre- yeah. like preaching this morning, count the cost. Right. There's a shame of being sexually promiscuous. And it'll shame you. It'll shame your parents. It'll shame your brothers. It'll right. shame your sisters. It'll shame right. your other brothers. I mean, you ladies right here, you girls right here. I mean, I mean, I mean, would you really be proud if you have a little little bump showing next next year for the youth camp? You know what I mean? I don't mean because you're eating too much kimchi and rice. I'm talking about, you know, you got a baby, you know what I mean, going on. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that really, I mean, I'm really proud about it. I mean, everybody knows what you did. It's a shameful thing, isn't it? Yes, sir. I mean, it'll shame your brothers. It'll shame your sisters. It'll shame your other relatives. It'll shame your friends. It'll shame your church. Most of all, it'll shame your heavenly father. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Why not make a vow to God tonight? Amen. That you keep your purity yeah. for wedding. Amen. Amen. You know, I like that movie Courageous. I, I, I so many bad, I don't, some guys are just jerks as bad as preachers. I'm telling you, really. <laughs> I don't believe in watching Courageous because it's rock music, but they watch a, uh, a NFL uh, oh, yeah, football that's true. game. With it. Or ah, right? The Super Bowl, right? <laughs> that's true. And they watch the beer commercials, Budweiser. Right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I, 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 like, I like Courageous. And if you haven't seen it, you, know, you want to watch it, but I, I like it. <laughs> I'm final, forgive me. You know, forgive me. I mean, while I'm watching uh, 
that you're probably watching, uh, you know, Harry Potter or Underworld. Uh -huh. Or, you know, <laughs> or Twilight. Yeah, great. <laughs> So I'm like, you know, you're going to I want grandpa. <laughs> you know, right now. <laughs> anyway, I said, I'll say this. You know, she, he, this, this, black, this black cop gave his daughter a purity ring. You know what I mean? Purity ring? That's an awesome thing, man. Now, I want you to think about this. If you ever get a purity ring, if you ever get a purity ring from your dad or whatever, I want you to think about this girl. Okay? If you ever do, or maybe you can buy it for yourself if your dad ain't safe, whatever. You've got to remember this. In order for you, you got that purity right there, right? Now, remember this. You take that off before you're going to do something. Mm. You can't put it back on. Mm. Mm. Make sense? Right. Yeah. So if you're going to engage in something, and you're looking at that ring the whole time, mm. you're going to lose something. Mm. Now here's here's the deal. If you lost your purity, I need you. I, I don't want. I don't want to show hands. I, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. All I'm saying is, why not just say, God, I messed up. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I want to love you. And then yeah. I said, yeah. the Man, he, he lived with hearts, boy. I mean, I hope not to be a mess with prostitutes, but, you know, there are some people that are. They really are. I'm serious. Yeah. They, they really do. And, um, you know what? You can rededicate yourself to the Lord. Yes. Yeah, amen. Hey, right. probably mess with yeah. but, you know, he did. He still came yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, amen. That's right. Now I'm going to close with this question, uh, and I'm done. Are you going to live pure or impure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the question. Are you going to live pure yeah. or impure? Yeah. Would you stand? Would you stand? No one around. Would you stand? No one looking around. You know, she went to see, didn't she? She really did. And wandering eyes have called you to wander from the Lord. She was seized by a sensual man. Uh, you girls are tiny. You're like 90 pounds wet. You know what? You got a guy who's, uh, you know, big guy, strong guy. Uh, you're with him in a car, and you go to look, have an over outlook. I'm sure you got some overlook or some. Things to look out over L.A. As, you know, don't don't go for a ride with a man. You understand that? Uh, don't go for a ride around the corner. Don't go a ride for, from the church to a place to eat out. Uh, you better make sure that when you go out to eat as a youth group, and I don't know if you do or not. I don't know what you do, but you better not flirt t uh, flirt with each other and grab on one another and play with each other's hair. You may have no business tossing some girl's hair because it's long. Keep your hands off her hair. Uh, you say, preacher, what are you talking about? I don't know what's going on, but I can say it right now, there is no doubt in my mind uh, some people that are messing with sexual things here. Because I can feel it. And you know what? You're sensual. And you think it's cool. And I'll say right now, you're dirty. That's right. That's right. You're perverted. And I'm going to call you what you are, a fornicator at heart. Her family was shamed. And not only do you feel shame about losing your purity, but your family will also. Let me just tell you something right now. You say, well, I don't feel any shame about what I did. I guarantee you there's something bad about you when you're looking at pornography. You, as Sister Shrive said, right on. You click that mouse quick. You know how to clear That's the big right. history and all that. So, no, I, I saw that with Fireproof. You know what I mean? That, that was a good movie. I, I really like that. I'm carnal again. Forgive me. <laughs> but anyway... You know what? There's something shameful about it because you don't pull out your laptop and look at it in front of your mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you know what you do? You know exactly who to flirt with and when to flirt with them. And you know exactly how to, how to make yourself obvious, but yet you're spiritual. And you act like it around the adults. Uh -huh. yeah. But you're a pervert at heart. That's right. Now let me say something right now. You may be lost, and I can say right now, you know what you thought? You thought lustful thoughts. You said, man, he looks good. You know what that is? It's coveting. You know what that is? It's lust. You may be a man, you thought lustful thoughts. All lost whoremongers? <clears throat> what is a whoremonger? That's a fornicator, a person who engages in premarital sex. You know what they do? They go to hell. Mm -hmm. See, so did they really? Revelation 21 8 says, That's right. Just bear with me, give me two more minutes and I'm done. The fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers. Now watch this. You want to know who goes to hell? The fearful, the unbelieving. I don't believe in God. You're going to hell. Unbelieving, unbelieving, unbelieving. And the abominable, that's anything that God hates. And murderers. So I never murder anybody. The Bible says if you hate someone in your heart, you're a murderer. Yeah. Ever hate anybody? Yeah. Or you're a murderer. Yeah. And whoremongers. Ever mess around with things? Yeah. Huh? You're an adulterer if you look at pornography. Yeah. God, I've never been married. You look upon a woman in lust after you commit adultery with her or a child. And you know what? Uh, Sister Shrimp said about women not being uh, uh, addicted to that stuff. Well, guess what? A recent survey found out that one out of nine Christian women are addicted to pornography. Wow. One out of nine. Wow. Guess what? It's growing. Yes. I was in a church one time, and a woman, I have a whole sermon on pornography. It's on my website. I preach about pornography. Mm -hmm. 
And I preached at the church. I asked the permission. The pastor said it was okay. It was only teenagers up. Praise the Lord. But anyway, bottom line is, the woman came up to me at the service with my wife there. And she goes, I got a problem with pornography. And she goes, I'm glad that you preached on this. She goes, maybe this will help me. But it's happening, brethren. It's happening. That pornography, I'll tell you, that's dangerous stuff. She said, where do you got your laptop? On the kitchen table? It's where everybody can see it. Say, why? I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself. Do you trust yourself? You're a fool. You know what? You can't even enter heaven as a lost fornicator. I know you're not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. You are deceived to think that you're going to make it without Christ. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusing themselves of mankind as homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers. That's people who revile and, and say filthy things and just revile against God, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You know what? You know you're a sinner. You know you are. Listen, you are deceived to say you're not. You have had a lustful thought. You have lied. You have coveted. You have wanted things that weren't yours. You have taken things that wasn't yours. Now, I'm going to say this to you and I'm done. Two more minutes. Number one. Christian, I'm going to ask you tonight, you're, you're saved and born again. What do you think of this message? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to come to the altar. But it's just before you even come to the altar. Mm -hmm. I think what the brother said earlier was, people come to the altar, they don't need change. Mm -hmm. You know what some of you are going to do? Some of you are going to leave this. I, this going to leave this altar if you even come. I'm not big on altar calls. I have to admit to you, I, when you come, you don't, I, you don't bother me. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. What I'm saying to you is this. You're going to leave here, and some of you are still going to flirt with the girls. You know what? You yeah, that's right. are showing yourself a fornicator at heart. You that's know what right. you are? You're a bonus of sexual snare. Uh -huh. You won't admit it. You won't get deliverance. You won't be set free. You've got to acknowledge that you're a snare by the devil, 2 Timothy 2, and say, God, I cannot stop it. I opened a can of worms I never thought I'd do. And Lord, I'm not right. God, help me to keep myself pure. pure. And let me say something like, you're getting ready to go to college? And you're a flirt, you're a prom. Oh, yes. You're a prom, you're a prom, you're a prom. Oh, yeah. you, you better watch, I'm telling you, whether you're a woman or a man, oh, yeah. you're going to fall. Now, next, you're not saved. Okay? I'm not going to drag it on. All week you've heard there is a God. Well, show me there's a God. There's a God. If you went out to Yosemite, uh, I'm telling you right now, you know those trees are not evolved. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know that. Okay? Yeah. You're, you're just lying to say that you know it's not true. Okay? So, if you're not saved tonight, I'm going to ask you. Do you really think you're as pure as Jesus Christ? Do you think you're as sinless as Christ? You think you're better than Jesus Christ. Do you think that? So I don't need Jesus Christ to be saved. Yes, you do. Anybody here lost tonight? Just raise your hand. Just admit. Would you, will you admit it? I mean, are you that full of pride? Are you that stubborn? Are you that hard-headed? Are, are you that defiant? Are you that rebellious? Are you that full of the devil? To not acknowledge you're a sinner? Do you really think you're... See, this is what you're saying. You're saying to everyone here, I'm better than you. I don't need Jesus Christ. You know what you're saying? You're not a sinner. You know what the Bible says? If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. <coughs> and the truth is not in us. You're not born again. If you don't think you're a sinner, you're not born again. Go ahead. One more minute. Anybody lost? I'm not going to drag it on. Anybody at all? Just raise your hand. Say, preacher, pray for me. Alright, now, you know what I predicted on Monday? You, know I pre you remember what I predicted on Monday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to write it out for Friday. Mm -hmm. You know what you're going to do? You're going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You chose that. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let me deal with people who are serious. Mm -hmm. Christian, let me ask you a question. Okay. How many of you tonight? Don't show hands. Okay, I don't want to see any hands. How many? Please don't show your hand. Alright, listen to me very good. Don't show your hand. How many of you tonight are messing around? Mm -hmm. How many of you tonight are looking at things you don't have to look at? How many of you are doing things in your bedroom when you're alone that That's nobody needs to know about and I'm not going to be explicit about? How many of you tonight have been flirting with the girls here and rubbing on them and hugging on them? Mm -hmm. How many of you girls have been flirting back? How mm -hmm. many of you girls have been loving the attention? Listen, the only attention you need is number one from God and mm -hmm. number two from your dad. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let me tell you something real quickly. How many of you tonight will acknowledge that? Don't raise your hand and say, I'm messed up and, and be honest about it. Yeah. All right, so there's two groups I want to talk to. Those of you who are lost, you're going to stay lost. You don't want to be saved. God help you. This is what I want to say to you. Those two, two groups now that are saved and pure and those who messed up. Would you come tonight to the altar? Would you come? Those of you who are saved and born again, would you come and dedicate yourself to the Lord tonight and say, God, I want to stay pure. Amen.